Hello dear students, how are you everybody? I hope you all are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am fine too. Welcome to my English grammar class. Uh, today our subject is English grammar and composition for class 9, also 10. Other classes can also follow this class, dear students. So please quickly take out your English uh, grammar book and exercise book. So ready? Okay, let's start. The students, first answer my question. Can you tell me what is the soul of English language, English grammar? Perhaps you will say, uh, tense is the soul of English grammar. Yes, you are right. Really, tense is the soul of English grammar. Uh, no, soul, no soul, no body. At the same time, the same way, no tense, no English grammar. Okay. Our unit title is, you see here, verbs and tenses. So, today, we will learn tense, especially, I will talk about the present simple tense. Okay? So, write down the today's lesson title, the present simple tense. <clears throat> the present simple tense. Verb. I have written here a word. What is verb? Verb is a word or phrase or a group of word that express or describes an action. Suppose eat. It is an action or event. Suppose happen. Or, or state. Suppose exist. All these are verb. Okay, another word. This is a term, important term for you. Form. What is form? Uh, actually, <clears throat> actually, form is a part of a verb or different related to it. For example, uh, right here a verb. This is a verb. From this verb, we can make more, more form. Place. Or plate. Or play. Okay, all these are forms of the verb. This is main verb or uh, base form. Another term, base form. Base form. What is base form? Base form is a form of a verb that has no special endings, special marker. Just to look here, uh, I can write here. Uh, for example, eat, play, read, like, wash, watch, what, go. Carry, uh, study, etc. A lot of words in English grammar, English language. All these are base form because there is no special endings to the verb. Okay, so uh, we have learned what is verb, what is form, and what is base form. Today, I have divided my whole class in two part part a and part b in part a you will know i will show you how to form the present simple tense verb present simple tense I, we will make present simple tense affirmative present simple tense negative and present simple tense interrogative okay first let's see here uh, to make present simple tense Affirmative, uh, we can use a simple structure. Look here. Subject plus verb plus extension. Okay? With this structure, we can form the present simple tense. Suppose I, base verb, play. Play cricket. You, B, 
base verb play cricket okay he or she oblique eat what type of verb i'll tell you later cricket similar we base verb play cricket okay dear students uh, you don't see any word because uh, there is a special form for the third person singular number in the present simple tense and to form that to make that special form we add usually you add s to the verb to the regular verb for example eat eat eats i'll play eat eats read reads like likes okay we add we add s uh, to the regular verb to make the special form for the third person singular number in the present simple tense. Okay, the verb that ends in, we use not only s but also more letters to the end of the verb. Uh, this is one, two, number two. The verb that ends, for example, the verb that ends, we see an uh, ch, sh, double s, o, x, z. If we see these letters to the end of the verb, we add, <coughs> we add es. For example, wash and watch and go wash just we add e before s okay next one watch we add e before s okay another word go we add e before s okay the students number three if the verb ends in consonant plus y what would be in that case very simple for example carry consonant y in this case carry i changes to i changes to y change changes to i and right here e before s um, but what if what if their uh, vowel plus y this is very easy uh, just add s to the verb for example study s study in in all these verbs we we have added here especially s uh, this is called the present simple tense marker so keep in your mind this present simple tense marker now i can use easily uh, for third person singular number plays got the point okay this is present simple tense affirmative just use subject plus verb and extension or object okay now second point the present simple test negative to make the present simple test negative negative just you need do or does and another little word not okay do not does not we can uh, do not can be shortened to don't or does not and abbreviated to doesn't we can use this word to form 
present simple tense negative I so let's practice I I do not play cricket you do not play cricket he she it doesn't plays a uh, play cricket in that case don't use s in that case don't use s because you have transferred s to the auxiliary verb do okay and we do not play cricket thus we can form the present simple tense negative now come to the next point we can easily make the present simple tense interrogative the present simple tense interrogative to form just at the at the start of the sentence just right here use here do do or does or do and put your question mark uh, so let's practice uh, we have already made present simple tense interrogative do i play cricket do you play cricket does he she or it plays cricket and do we play cricket thus we can we can make present simple tense affirmative negative and interrogative the students another thing we can make present simple tense uh, with with be verb am is are also have verb have has for example you are a student i am a teacher he is a doctor at the same time he is not a doctor you are not a student uh, i am not a teacher we can say we can make this uh, affirmative negative and interrogative at the same time we can uh, make form the present simple tense uh, with using have verb for example she has a nice doll they have a very uh, red car okay so in this in this part party you have learned how to form the present simple tense affirmative negative and interrogative now now listen to me this time we will learn the usage of present simple tense present simple tense uh, we know uh, a present simple tense doesn't have one or two usage it has uh, especially especially it has 10 more than 10 usage in special cases some particular cases uh, so uh, let's start let's see on the screen usage Look here, the students, part one. Most people learn to swim when they are children. This part you know how to use present simple tense, when to use, why to use present simple tense. Just look here. Most people learn to swim when they are children. This is very common experience. We learn to swim in our childhood and why watch television most evenings. Nurses look after or patients in hospitals okay in these three sentences we see some things that happen happens all the time not the present time past time we don't think of present past or future we usually uh, things in general that that happens uh, happens most people learn so I have uh, used here learn uh, base verb base form of learn and on what look let's see next Part two, Sarah goes to the dentist twice a year. Kate doesn't often drink tea. In summer, John usually plays tennis twice a week. Okay, the students, here we see goes, uh, present simple verb, doesn't drink. This is also present simple verb, plays also present simple tense verb. Why have we used this? Because this situation, this situation uh, 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 happens. How often? Uh, many times? One time or two times? Three times? For example, Sarah goes to the dentist twice a year, two times in the year. Okay. If you uh, want to, uh, if you want to express something that happens uh, one time, two times, times that you can use present simple tense. Okay. Next part three. 
Some buses run frequently between the city and the airport. He telephones repeatedly begging her to return. Uh, she usually visits her parents on Fridays. Here we see uh, there are some specific spots where between two places some bus some buses come and go uh, to get available vehicles. So uh, a recurrent event or repeated action we can to express this situation we can use the present simple tense. Okay, next part four. We bathe every day. Most of we bathe every day. Uh, we bathe to have birth. We wash, uh, wash ourselves every day. Most of the students go to the school regularly. Uh, accidents regular occur on this bed. You know, all the world is not the straight. Some in some area section, uh, the, there there are bent. As a bent area, so in this, uh, on this area, accidents occur, may occur. This is regular action or regular happening. If if you want to express this situation, you uh, we use present simple tense. Okay, next part five. My grandma always chose beetle leaf with beetle nut. I get up every day at five o'clock. He drinks tea every morning. The students, this situation express habit habitual action that means my, our older people used to to beetle or uh, beetle leaf beetle leaf some people although it is not it is prohibited uh, it is a, a cigarette a smoke cigarette this is the habitual action that means if we want to express habitual action we use the uh, present simple tense okay next <coughs> Yes, look here. I live in Chattagram. I have been here for 20 years. He works in a business firm. My laptop doesn't work. It hasn't worked for many, many days. The students, uh, this situation, from this situation, we can easily understand that really this, uh, this, uh, this is uh, actually is uh, for long time permanent things. Uh, we don't expect to change as soon as because uh, I live in the Chattogram, so we use present simple tense to talk about uh, situations which is uh, a permanent or long, long term, long lasting things. Okay, next part seven. The earth goes round, the moves around the sun. The sun rises in the east. Here we see the. Uh, uh, this is a uh, uh, hundred years ago to uh, today to and a uh, hundred years later too. So this is universal truth. The students in this case we use present simple tense. Uh, part 8. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. This, this is a uh, scientific logic. So in this case we will use present simple tense. The students. Part 9. Many mortal fortune favors must upon the brave. In this situation, in these types of situation we use the present simple tense. Okay, part 10. Here comes the bus. There she goes. If, if, you, uh, if you use here and there uh, in the excla exclamatory sentence, at the start of the sentence, uh, you will use the present simple tense to express this type, uh, type of situation. And part 11, a lot of part, a lot of uh, rules there in the, because you know uh, um, this is very simple, easy, but its, it's uses is very wide. Look here, the next flight is at 7 tomorrow morning. The match starts at 9 o'clock. The train leaves at 5.20. The exams start next week. The school opens on 26 April. The movies uh, starts at 6.30 and finishes 9. All these are situations, if, if we notice, we, did, we see that actually uh, all, all these are uh, program, uh, schedule, timetable, plan. Uh, if you want to express these sorts of situations, we can use the present simple tense. And the part 12, a lot of part here we see a part 12. Kit says, Kit you know, is the a, 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 a famous English poet uh, uh, after this year, says, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. You know, Kit's the a po a poet of nature. Uh, look here, says, so to, uh, this is quotations, and the teacher says to the students, dear students, your class registration is going on. So, okay, to introduce any quotation, we can use present simple tense. Says, says present simple tense. Okay, and uh, number part 13, our president gets here at 3 and the meeting starts at 2.30. 2.30, 2 
to express personal plan or schedule you can write the present simple tense uh, part 14 I won't go out if it rains not will rain can I have some milk before I go to bed please ring me up as soon as he comes uh, we uh, when if I see her tomorrow I'll I'll tell her evening so it's meaning in future but you will use the present simple tense in this situation or activities uh, at last part do we say uh, last part uh, 15 uh, where do you come from this is very common question and he came from Japan in this situation in this types of question of course you will do in the present simple tense the part, uh, last part I am tired so uh, you say to uh, you give a suggestion why don't you go to bed early uh, to so in all these situations all these activities uh, we can cases we can use the present simple tense uh, the students actually present simple tense is a very wide widely used tense uh, last this one listen to me last but not least there are more more rules more grammar to use the present simple tense for example I can add it I added here uh, if, if, if uh, uh, we want to, if you want to express, if you want to tell a story, joke, or commentaries, uh, or newspaper headlines, uh, for all these situation we use present simple tense. Besides, uh, there are some uh, 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 adverb of time that you know, you know, uh, generally, uh, regularly, usually, occasionally, sometimes, open, always. Okay, uh, always, all this every day, daily, if you find these types of uh, adverb of time in any sentence, any situation, you can use the present simple tense. So the students will have learned all about the present simple tense formation and usage. Now, as usually, I have an uh, assessment for you that to test you that you have learned whatever you learned. Assessment, look here. Number one, number one, cats hating, hey, hey, water, water, answer would be, would be A, water, cats hate water, number two, he lived, live, lives in Dhaka, he, of course, lives in Dhaka, they, he don't, do, don't, doesn't have children, she was, uh, they did not, don't, they don't have children, she was, is, am a doctor, you must be she she is a doctor okay where are you coming from where do you uh, come from let's always remember where do you come from okay for the last time uh, I'm about to finish homework write down the note for your homework remember to homework at your home write five sentences in the present simple task for the situations with general truth schedule or timetable newspaper headline routine action and habitual action okay that's all for today thank you very much allow this